guys. I have so much to do this morning. Actually, I have so much to do today as a whole. I'm feeling very overwhelmed. So I am taking a little bit of time to myself, having some coffee. I will refill it before I leave. I'm gonna start with the simple stuff first. Um, we did get that hay done last night. My husband pulled off two loads so that I can move the wheel line and start water on that field. So that is gonna be first thing this morning. Once I get the wheel line moved, I will try to start the pump. That could be more challenging. It hasn't been on in a month and it sometimes takes a lot to get it primed. So I'm hoping I can do that on my own. If not, I may need to wait for him to come home so that both of us, we have eyes on both ends and can make sure everything is turning and running and doing what it's supposed to do. But fingers crossed that I can get it started on my own so that we can get started with, we can get water started on that field without any issues. That would be a fabulous step this morning. Then once I get that done, I need to move those lambs on the south side of the barn up here to the house because I didn't get to it last night because we were trying to get hay done. And we did, we got hay done. Oh, you have no idea how excited I am. I am still just so absolutely giddy happy. I'm, it's such a relief off my mind to have that field done which is why we want to get the water on it right away. So <clears throat> that is second on the list. And then I need to, I'm hoping I can get all that done by lunch because then when I come up for lunch, I can redo my breeding groups. I never got to do that last night either. It was nine o'clock when we got home, we ate dinner, showered and went to bed. We were exhausted. I, I, I had no more mental or physical energy to do anything else but that. So that is what I need to do this afternoon before I go and start separating off the sheep. Once I redo my breeding groups, then I will start pulling out the ewes for those groups, get them put into their spots, and hopefully I can get the rams to where they belong. They should not be an issue. However, it is breeding season. They are hormonal, so they can be jerks. So um, I just need to, I need to pay attention to what I'm doing is what I'm saying. So that is what my day is going to entail. I am hoping I can get it all done. When he gets home tonight, he wants to shear those last three rams that we're gonna put in the breeding groups and possibly even get the rest of that hay off that field. We will see how far we get when he gets home. It is Monday. It will be a late night for him. Mondays are always long days. So oh, keep your fingers crossed and let's hope we get it all done. Some days I surprise even myself. I had to fuel the four wheeler. So I just brought the fuel out here to fuel the wheel line because I couldn't remember the last time I did it and I wouldn't have made it across the field with what little fuel was in there. So I feel like I'm winning already so far this morning. Wheel line is fueled, wheel line is moved. Let's go hook it up and try to get the water going. So basically that is what I've kind of been waiting for is to make sure there is water coming out of that pump. I don't feel any water going into here. My little, my little ball isn't floating yet. 
but the fact that it is starting to come out of there means maybe that's filling and it'll start here next so we'll just wait a little bit we're not in any hurry we don't have anything else to do today that's not what I needed this morning all right let's go shut the pump off So glad I could help you two out by making yourselves a little pond. Oh, this is frustrating. Hmm. And of course it's the hay field that's down, but it does look like most of the water went this way. So let's, oh yeah, that's pretty, uh, it's pretty wet. Okay, so best case scenario. That. Might be okay. What do we got going on here? Ooh. Okay, so that one may need replaced. See if I can screw this back on. I'm not sure. I actually think... <laughs> Well, maybe a little bit on the hay, but not bad. Oh yeah, it's still pretty green. It's definitely not gonna go tomorrow. Okay, so, the worst part is I don't have a second person, so I have to go turn the pump on, come out here and hope like heck this one holds. And if not, go back in, shut the pump off, run into town, get a new cap, or maybe replace the riser first. I do have a riser, so I could put that on. Let's go turn the pump on and see what happens. That's our first step. Second issue. I uh, lost the seal for this one, and I brought one out, but it's too big. I need the smaller one, so I need to go back in, go get a smaller one. This is actually the project I started when I uh, spotted that geyser, so. Okay, let's go get a smaller gasket. And because I'm not seeing the one that was in here, it's like gone. It blew out and it ain't coming back. So, okay, let's get that and uh, keep moving on. And I was doing so good. The wheel line moved, no issues. The pump started, no issues. I should have known I'd have issues out here because we always do when things get started. So, I just hope that means I don't have like 35 birdies that end up having to be unplugged. But there is that chance. Okay, new gasket, fix this, turn the pump on, pray for no geysers, and, and keep moving on. Keep moving on. Third time's the charm, right? Let's hope so. That is a beautiful sight. No geyser. So now I just got to reshut the gate. Oh, I'm so happy. I was afraid that was going to be a big old mess today. Okay, one crisis averted. Let's go see if we can get that wheel line going now. Oh, the wheel line is running. It is running. I'm so excited. Oh, it has been a morning. 
I am still, I am, I am still having a great morning. It has, like I said, the wheel line moved without issues. The pump started without issues. I got the geyser fixed without issues. I put a gasket on without issues. I made about 12 trips to the barn. I'm sure my neighbors all think I'm nuts and can't figure out what the heck I'm doing, but it's okay because the wheel line is running. That's all that matters. All right, let's go unplug birdies. Okay, that actually wasn't horrible. So, next project. Let's get those lambs to the front pasture. There's always one, but I got everybody else in here and I wasn't gonna risk losing them just for him. So we'll wrangle him eventually. I just realized I made a critical error. I pushed them on this side other than the two on that side and they all really need to be on that side so that I can put them in the back of the pickup truck. So I really have no way to get them out of here and I don't want to climb the fence with them. So these lucky little girls and boys are going to hang out here until my husband gets home. And then we're going to take them to the house. But I am gonna pull out these two big ones. I think you're the one with the dog bite on her. You're gonna stay here. No, maybe not. If you are, it's healing up really good. But I know these two are breeders, so I'm gonna pull them out real quick. <sighs> really? I hate to tell you, but you don't quite fit there, sis. Oh boy. Yep, some days the brain does work. I just opened the panel and I let him over here. Now granted, I still have that boy to get, but yeah, he might be a tonight project. If I can get this group to the house, I will call that a win. Got nine out of the 10 up here. The one is still running loose at the barn. I will have to get him shortly. Okay, moving on. I just ran up to the office to double check my breeding groups um, where we need to switch out Buddy for Bon Jovi. I need to double check the sheep that I had with Buddy, make sure they can go with Bon Jovi, and if there's anybody that can't see who I can switch him out with, switch them out with, in hopes that, um, I'm hoping it'll just be a straight across I can just switch the one ram for the other. I don't have to take anybody out, but I better double check. That actually worked out really well. I only had to change out one U that was actually his sister. So uh, yeah, I just switched out one for a different U and uh, now I think I need to go down and start separating sheep. Last ram caught, and he very nicely popped me in my jaw. Pretty sure it, it didn't broke, but it's uh, not happy. Slammed my finger, so it's all cranky. Naughty boy, naughty, naughty boy. Okay, we will get him in a bit. Yeah, he nailed me pretty good. Oh, okay, well, smoothies for dinner it is. Ooh, well. Uh, hello. What are you girls doing in here? Well, for as uh, good as I was doing this morning, this afternoon kind of kicked my butt. Come on. So, come on, girls. 
Uh, it is about four o'clock now, and my goal is to get at least three groups separated. But this is gonna be time consuming because I have a lot of red tags that I have to read every number off of. We're gonna do what we can do. It's about all we can do right now. We're gonna do what we can do. Got the first group separated out. Only took me an hour and 15 minutes. I called my husband to have him bring home some spray paint in five different colors. And tomorrow morning, after I move water, I am going to run these girls and I'm going to spray their butts or their shoulders or their backs or whatever. I'm going to spray them somewhere with a different color for each of the other five groups. That way, I only have to run them once. I mean, I'll have to run them four more times, but I only have to check their numbers once because this, this is time consuming. If I wasn't so scared of them yanking off those RFID tags when they're little, I'd put them on when they're babies, like when they're first born. But we lose so many of those tags and they are not cheap. First group in, as soon as Tesla gets sheared, We'll set him in with these girls. Got everybody moved. I had to quit that project. My husband came home and we were going to shear the rams and he had an issue come up at work. So now he is going to haul hay and we will deal with rams tomorrow. If I had more confidence, I would probably try shearing those rams, but I don't. And after yesterday's incident, I don't know that I want to try by myself. So uh, it's gonna be another day, unfortunately. I wish it wasn't, but unfortunately, life does get in the way. And there is just nothing we can do about it. So it's, it's already after seven and he is just getting home, just got home, um, changed and went to start his stacker. So I am feeding and we'll try again tomorrow.